Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my son's nursery. I'm so 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 excited to be filming this video today because I'm going to show y'all the organization that I've done in the nursery and actually in his bathroom and like the bathroom right next to his room that will essentially <laughs> be his bathroom. I've already filmed an entire nursery like reveal slash tour so that will definitely it's, it's not up yet but in my real time but it will definitely be up before this video so I will link that in the description box down below and I'll put it in the iCard probably so that y'all can see that if you want like an actual in-depth look at like what's actually in this room and like how we decorated it and the furniture obviously you can get like a little sneak peek <laughs> from behind me but I did give like a really in-depth tour and reveal of the nursery in that video so I will link that for y'all but in this video it's gonna be specifically how I organize like specifically like the dresser the closet the bathroom stuff like that keep in mind I am a first-time mom but I did a ton of research I watched like a ton of videos read blog posts like I did ask people like anecdotally like how do you store this what's the most functional way to do this so this isn't based on experience <laughs> he's still in here at the moment but it is definitely based on a lot of research and I feel like just based on kind of like assumptions I can make of how I operate I think this is gonna be really 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 functional and it kind of just all makes sense the way I paired things together it's pretty much full in here there's really not much else that we need even though we're a couple months away from him being due I still feel like I'm like I'm done like I have everything that he's gonna need there's really not much missing so I feel like it's a good time to share this with y'all because everything's kind of stocked with what we're going to be using and what we're gonna need so I'm hoping that this will be really helpful at least like give some ideas of maybe how you might want to organize or maybe just like if you have other ways of doing things you can tell me some suggestions and we can all kind of help each other because I'm flying by the seat of my pants obviously but I did as much legwork as I could ahead of time and I think it's a good system so far I love just like organizing and like, planning and categorizing and this is all my jam so I had so so much fun doing this and also if y'all have any specific questions on because I'm obviously you're gonna see products in here I'm not gonna like go through everything in every drawer but if you have questions on like specific products or specific like organizational tools like things that you see just I'm not gonna probably link everything because there's a ton of stuff in here but if you have any specific questions just let me know and I'll be happy to post links for y'all so definitely let me know if you need links for anything so I'm super super excited to share this with y'all let me know what y'all think and how you guys like operate and how you guys do things I would love to know and without further ado let me show y'all all the organization in here so I think we'll just start with the dresser this dresser is from Ikea I love that it has the little kind of like edges up here and all around it but I switched out the drawer pulls these are from Hobby lobby and I just love how kind of boho they are so this dresser has the six different drawers and as you can tell like the top ones are a little bit thinner the bottom two are a little bit deeper and in this first top drawer which mind you we do have the changing pad up here so that also kind of will dictate how I organize things if you have a separate changing table obviously things might be different for you but this top drawer I just kind of did like accessories kind of smaller things like all of his socks I have probably way 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 too many pairs of socks this is like a little two-part organizer these two are like connected this is from Ikea so I have all of his socks in here and then I actually have just like some more slightly either additional or just bigger size socks just kind of like slid right back there I wish the drawers came out like a little bit further so you could access like this back part but they're still easy enough to grab and you can still see what's back there so I did socks here and then in the other half of this little guy I did kind of like other miscellaneous accessories so little like knotted hats I also put like winter these are like kind of heavier winter hats down here I have a bunch of different brands in here too by the way so like I said let me know if you're curious about any of the specific things and then I also put his little mittens in this container so these are just kind of thin ones these are like more intense kind of like velcro ones and then behind this section I just have like some summer hats but those obviously he's not going to need until he's gonna be born like the fall slash winter so those are kind of for the future and then over here I did bibs <laughs> which I have so many of I just have the ones I think he'll be using initially that I have already washed these are more kind of like drool bibs so I have a bunch of different bibs I have like bandana bibs <laughs> these really cute sushi ones but then I also have some that I haven't even opened yet like you'll see here I have like an Aiden and Anais is that how you say that Aiden and Anais Anais I really like still don't know <laughs> how to say this so then moving on to the next drawer as you could probably <laughs> imagine this is going to be like the specific diaper drawer since we are going to be doing diaper changes right here which I just have the changing pad liner 
on top of like the regular changing pad cover here. So this drawer I feel like took a little bit more thought <laughs> than the other drawers because I wanted to think of what does he need obviously during a diaper change but also just kind of like general grooming. Also, um, so I actually started with binkies. A lot of these, like I said, I haven't like washed or taken a lot of these out of the packaging yet because I don't know what we're gonna use and obviously I wanna wait to wash these till closer when he's gonna use them but I have a bajillion different like types of binkies, like different sizes, different styles. I also put the binky clips or the pacifier clips in this bin. There's a whole bunch of different types of binkies in here. So we'll figure out <laughs> what he likes when the time comes. And honestly, I don't know when we're gonna introduce binkies, but these are one of those like two part organizers, the same thing from the other drawer from Ikea. So this is one section. This other section is kind of more specific to the diaper and grooming kind of situation. So in here I have obviously some <laughs> butt paste and a, like a little butt paddle brush to apply it with. And then again, just some general grooming stuff. I have like a nail clipper, which I feel like this might be something you do kind of like while they're on the changing pad. Also a little hairbrush. <laughs> These are the diaper bags, like little baggies you can put individual diapers in to throw away. And then I have a big old tub of baby lotion. I feel like it's also a good time to lotion them up when you change their diaper. Just like a little teether. Again, this I feel like it's just something that I would have in this drawer to just like have as entertainment. Like while I'm changing him, if he's being fussy or like just needs to be distracted, I feel like this is something I could just whip out and give to him to occupy him for a second. I also have this little tush swiper, which is kind of similar to the like little butt <laughs> paddle brush, but this actually attaches directly onto the bottle of diaper rash cream and then you just squeeze the product through the swiper so that will also probably come in handy. I also just have some alcohol swab wipes in here just in case, you know, you need to disinfect anything. If we're taking his temperature in here and we need to like disinfect the applicator or anything like that, I feel like that's just kind of smart to have. And then I have a big tub of Aquaphor Baby, which I feel like is just a necessity. And then behind that, I just have a big container of baby petroleum jelly. So again, kind of a mix of like diaper necessity, but also just like health and wellness and grooming. I feel like these are just kind of things that we would do <laughs> all at the same time. And then I have this Ubi diaper wipes container. It's not like a wipes warmer. It's just a dispenser. And I'm just really excited that this fits like in the drawer because I really didn't want to have to have that on display. So that fits in there perfectly. It'll be super easy to grab wipes in and out. And this also has a little window so you can see how many wipes you have left. And then next to that, I just have a little stack of some folded up washcloths. These ones are amazing. They're from Amazon and they're the softest things in the entire world. I cannot believe how soft they are. And I figure these are just gonna be good just to have here to grab like if I need to throw it over him so he doesn't like squirt us or if he spits up or you know just any kind of mess if I need to wipe my hands really quick I just have some rags here that I can grab and then I can obviously easily throw them in the wash I also put one of these little wub and nubs in here again just in case like if I need to give him something to entertain him just for him to play with or hold on to to <laughs> distract him while I change his diaper this will just be something I can grab and give him and then of course I have a whole bunch of diapers the diapers go all the way back <laughs> I filled this as much as possible but this is sort of like the diaper station and I feel like it kind of has everything that we're gonna need and it's right below where we're changing his diaper. So then jumping back over to these drawers is where I start kind of the clothes organization. I, <laughs> I'm i not gonna like label these, but I feel like I need to kind of make, which I actually have made, but I need to like make it more official, kind of like a little map for my husband since I <laughs> kind of did this single-handedly so that he can know where everything is. But I got these little drawer organizers. These are from Amazon. It came in a pack of, I think, eight, which was exactly what I needed. So how I decided to do the drawers, and again, this is based on talking to other moms and stuff like that, is I kept basically just like pants and body suits, like onesies in the drawers, things that were fairly easy to just fold up and then Mostly everything else is in the closet, but I think this is I think this is a good system. I like that idea. So this little section right here is just newborn size, which I did not get a ton of. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling that he is not gonna be a newborn, maybe at all in terms of sizing and clothes, or definitely not for a long time. So I've only bought a couple of things and I've only washed like literally two or three of everything just for like the day we get home. But I just have a little pile of pants here, like little sweatpants. These are just little kimono body suits so that they don't kind of bother him his umbilical cord. And then underneath of those is just long sleeve body suits. So I kind of separated it specifically into like pants, long sleeve onesies or body suits, and then short sleeve onesies in the back there. So I have a whole pile of just like little short sleeve newborn sizes. Both of these two are zero to three months because that's honestly what I feel like I have the most of, except for right here, but I'll get to that in a second. So I have a stack of long sleeve onesies here. I have like a couple like little sets that I haven't like undone yet. So I just have those 
just slipped in here. These are just some plain white ones. And then these are all the short sleeve onesies. And then in the little <laughs> divider to the right of that, I just keep all the pants in here. So I just folded up all of his little sweatpants. But back here, I put gowns. So these are newborn and zero to three month gowns. This whole drawer is kind of newborn slash zero to three. They're kind of like PJs, but they have either like the open bottom or they tie at the bottom or something like that. So I made that its own stack. I think it'll be really easy to make outfits kind of out of this drawer, right? Cause I like, grab a top, grab a bottom. <laughs> and then I also just have this kind of like slid in the side here, but this is like the cutest thing ever. I'm like so dead over this. It's like a little hat and then a little diaper cover. <laughs> so like you basically just put the hat on and then have them naked other than this. Like, is that not the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh. I definitely recommend getting the drawer dividers. I think it's really helpful. I can't imagine <laughs> doing this without them. So this next drawer is set up very similarly. I actually did want to mention though, I have the, that's like the Ubi garbage pail right next to obviously the changing table slash like diapering section as well. So I feel like obviously it's not necessarily part of the organization, but <laughs> it's kind of part of the flow. Like when we change a diaper, grab it from here, it'll go right in there. But now for this drawer, for whatever reason, I just have a ton of three to six month stuff for whatever reason. So this is, again going to be kind of redundant but I just have a stack of short sleeve onesies a stack of long sleeve onesies and then a three to six month pants are back there so again like that's not super super accessible I just I really wish these drawers came out a little farther so that's not going to be super easy to access because it's like kind of completely <laughs> hidden by these onesies so, so this is probably just something in terms of like my folding that will eventually <laughs> need to change even though right now I feel like these pants are obviously kind of inaccessible what I feel like will naturally also happen is like as he grows out of you know this newborn and like zero to three month stuff and we're actually moving on to the three to six month stuff I, I'll likely end up putting a lot of stuff away and packing it away and then I'll have a little bit more room to <laughs> more room to groove and I could potentially like move all the onesies to one of these sections move the pants into another section and kind of like slowly spread out but also this won't always be this full because I imagine majority of the time like half of this stuff is going to be in the wash this is like as full as this drawer will ever be and then in this little like middle section I have six to nine month which is kind of an unusual size I feel like some brands carry six to nine and some just go three to six and then six to twelve so I don't have a ton of that stuff I think these are almost all long sleeve I don't really think I have any short sleeve and then obviously I have some more pairs of pants stacked up and then this little section over here is six to twelve month it's kind of weird it's like six to nine and six to twelve like they're very similar sizes and obviously like a similar age range how cute is this pattern I'm literally so obsessed. I love the dinosaur theme for little boys. And this drawer is actually the last one with like clothes in it for the dresser. Most of the clothes are in the closet. Like I said, I'll show you all that. But it's it's all very similar. Like I kept the same system for this drawer and this drawer. So then moving down to this drawer, this drawer is a little bit of a catch-all. And as you can see, it's not even totally full. But the funny thing is I feel like every single <laughs> like nursery organization video I've seen has one of these drawers in the dresser that's kind of miscellaneous and like not really full, which is good though. Like I'm, I'm glad I have <laughs> some room to grow. It's like not a ton of organization but it also kind of makes sense so I don't have anything over here right here I just have the like milestone stuff basically so like the little milestone blanket and then these little milestone cards that you can take like pictures with and stuff like that I just put both of these together in here and then along the like I don't know the inside wall of the drawer I just have this is from Amazon they call it a diaper bag but it's just like a wet bag you know so it has like two different zippers and you can store you know obviously baby clothes dirty clothes wet clothes anything like that I feel like having wet bags in your diaper bag is just important and this is sort of similar this is the ubi uh like portable changing mat this one came in a little bag so i figured these were kind of sort of related in terms of like portable diapery bag type things and then this is like sort of i don't know kind of toiletry ish stuff but that i felt like didn't make sense to put in the bathroom so i just have some more of those like diaper individual garbage bags that i showed y'all and then i also bought like the portable <laughs> like ubi version that you like keeping your diaper bag so this is like a box of diaper sacks so basically i just have a ton <laughs> of diaper sacks right there as well as this little itsy ritzy like pacifier bag along with a bunch of backup uh, like nipple cream and aquaphor and butt paste i think this is like an a and d preventative cream here so these are just like some various uh like baby lotions these are some mastella lotions actually this is all lotion this is a diaper paste these are a few different lotions and i think this is little yeah like diaper balm from abby and finn kind of just again like grooming health toiletry type products but i feel like these would be this is just a good place to store them easy to grab you guys will see in the bathroom why 
it, I guess it doesn't really totally, I mean, it would make sense to put these in the bathroom, but I also feel like having them in his room here will be handy in case I need them for the diaper bag or if we're like going on a trip, I kind of have all my backups in here. That's kind of what this is. This is like a backup drawer, <laughs> more or less. This drawer is kind of a catch-all. There's room for other like random things that I don't have a home for that maybe don't make sense. And then this drawer is definitely a lot fuller, but <laughs> this is probably like my favorite drawer just because I love the stuff that's in it and I love the organization. And this is fairly simple, this drawer. This whole, again, I have the drawer organizers in here because this came with eight, this pack of drawer organizers. It was perfect because I used it for these two and these two drawers and I put two in each. This little section right here is just burp cloths. So as you can see, I sort of did some Marie Kondo here. Like these ones are just rolled and easy to grab. Same with these Burt's Bees ones, but also some are just like folded and stacked up. These are the same material as those washcloths that I mentioned from like the diaper drawer, but they're bigger. They're like burp cloth size and they are so freaking soft. So I have like a huge stack of those in all different colors. And then some Aiden and Anais ones, Copper Pearl. These are green sprouts. And then this second column, or I keep calling them columns, but they're like, you know, little sections. I have the changing pad liners, which as I showed y'all, I have one of them already on here. So that comes in a set of three. So these are the other two. And then I have some boppy ones, like the same kind of concept, just the boppy version. And then I also have some kind of bigger ones. These are almost like play mat style changing pad liners. So they're like water resistant and protective, but they're big so you can like use them on a carpet and stuff like that. They're really protective. And then I also put sleep sacks in here. Well, sleep sacks and swaddles. So these are all washed and cleaned, ready to go. These are all like the newborn or zero to three month. Even though these are kind of like clothes, I I'm treating these almost like blankets, which is why they're in this drawer because this little section, this whole third row is blankets basically. So there's some kind of waffle, like thermal blankets in here. There's some flannel blankets underneath of there. He's, like I said, going to be like a fall winter baby. So I think we're going to be carrying him around with blankets, doing blankets, obviously in the stroller, in the car seat. And I know you can obviously use these for other things too. Like all these ones back here are all muslin. And I know a lot of people recommend using muslin blankets kind of as burp cloth. And you can obviously use them as like a car seat covers. And they kind of have like a lot of functions. So I have all of the kind of multi-use blankets. Like obviously you can swaddle in a muslin blanket too. So that's kind of what made me put all of this stuff together because it's all all kind of sleep cozy kind of vibes. So that's how I did this drawer and honestly everything just fits so perfectly like in terms of just the width and the size. So that is the dresser and I'm super happy with the fact that like everything fit perfectly in here. It stores everything I need and I think it all it just makes a lot of sense. I think it's gonna be very functional. And then I do for reference just have a couple more blankets over here in this little blanket basket as well but these are more like as you can see kind of fleece and bigger like cozier blankets whereas the blankets in there were more thinner and kind of like swaddle type blankets or like I said burp cloth type blankets rather than like cuddle cozy blankets. So I kind of just realized that I was talking about that dresser for a long time and I know I'm like long-winded but I also feel like I want to be kind of thorough and like descriptive in this video. So now that I have the whole closet to show you, which has a lot of organization in it and the bathroom, I'm kind of starting to realize that I don't think I can make these like one video because <laughs> I feel like I would not be able to fit this all in one video or it would be like an hour long video, which I don't think anyone wants to watch. So I think what I'm going to do is just wrap up this video here and this will just be like dresser organization slash like changing table organization more or less. And then <laughs> I'll, so I'm going to keep filming obviously. I'm gonna keep going right now, but I think I will put up the closet organization as its own video and then I'll do the bathroom organization as its own video. Maybe I'll even like just put these up like back to back like three days in a row or something like that so y'all can see all of it but not be stuck sitting here through like an hour long video. Can we all just talk about how I'm out of breath literally no matter what I'm doing? <laughs> We are at that level of pregnancy because I just like walked into the closet and I was about to film and I'm like Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like another half hour of talking which I'm pretty sure is how long I just spent <laughs> on the dresser I'm sure I edited it down a little bit But I don't want this to be annoying for y'all to watch and maybe if you're just looking for a specific dresser organization Versus a closet versus bathroom Maybe it'll be even helpful to you to like kind of have it broken apart rather than like just a giant organizational dump video. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this video right here. Stay tuned, I will be putting up the closet organization video next. And if this is not like the day this video came out, I will also link the closet and the bathroom organization videos down in the description box for y'all to check out. So you can see all the things, but you can watch them at your leisure. So I'm sorry that I'm so long winded, but I really like, I'm very, very passionate about organization and I love 
being thorough. I feel like when I'm watching this kind of stuff, I appreciate that as well. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this gave y'all <laughs> some ideas and I hope that you enjoyed. Stay tuned for these other two organizational videos that will be coming. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you would like to subscribe, we would love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until the closet video, <laughs> I will see you guys then. Bye guys. Bye.